Today on the show, we're making corned beef. Why? One, St. Patrick's Day is around the corner, and it just seemed right. Two, this brisket has been taking a lot of room up in my freezer. I needed to get rid of it, so corned beef. make our corned beef, we have to make a brine, which doesn't contain any corn. But why is it called corned beef? I don't know, I don't care. Post-production me, can you explain? And we back to the brine. I have here in this pot, half a gallon of water, to which we'll add one cup of salt, half a cup of brown sugar, one cinnamon stick, and a quarter cup of pickling spice. Now I think a bunch of food snobs are either clicking off the video or typing up some sort of storm in the comment section, probably complaining about how I don't make my own pickling spice. Listen, having to buy all those individual spices gets to be super expensive. Meanwhile, a jar of this stuff only costs about 10 bucks. So take your Le Cordon Blue Cope elsewhere. One and a half teaspoons of pink curing salt. This is what will give our corned beef its iconic pink purple color. If you cook up corned beef and it doesn't come out pink, well, you're a bigger insult to Jewish culture than Hamas. Ooh, can't wait to read the comments. All right, let's bring this to a boil over high heat. And while it comes up to a boil, give everything a nice stir. All right, this has reached a boil. Let's turn off the heat. Now we can't just simply dump this hot brine on our meat, unless that's what you're into. I judge, but I too, I'm into some weird kinky stuff. Meep. Anyway, yellow dollar sign aside, we gotta cool down this brine. So I have here a plastic container filled halfway up with ice. And well, let us pour it in. There we go, it's nice and salty, but not hold back the vomit salty. And of course the meat of choice for corned beef is brisket. I got here a five pound brisket flat hmm. and which I probably should have trimmed off a little bit more fat. What am I saying? This is gonna be good. So let's just insert our meat into our container. And since we need to weigh it down, I'll just uh, place a little plate down here. Keep it fully submerged. This originally came with a lid, but this originally came with a lid, but I lost it. So plastic wrap it is. So one final question. How long do we let this brine for? Some people say half a month. Some people say a couple weeks. I even heard restaurants go as far as three months. But this is going to take a lot of real estate in the fridge. I don't have that kind of time. So one week should do. All right, it's been one week, and it's time to take our brisket out of the brine. So take our brisket out of the brine. Redundant, much redundant. Rinse off any excess, place it in a pot, and fill it two thirds of the way with water. And, oh, hey, look, here it is. And now let's add our aromatics. Let's add six ounces of celery stalk, five ounces of carrots, and one onion quartered. Uh, yeah, it's a long story. Okay, brings us to a boil. Whoa, I take my eyes off this for one second and it's already looking like a kosher jacuzzi. Uh, jukuzzi, if you will. Man, eh, shut up, that joke was funny. Anyway, when it reaches a boil, reduce the heat down to medium low. And let this simmer for three hours. All right, after three hours, remove it from the pot and do two things. Either cut into it immediately or let it cool. There's both upsides and downsides to either approach. If you'll let it cool, it'll be much easier to slice and you won't end up with a bloody horse show like this. But I don't want to wait for corned beef. I'm hungry right now. So let me grab a sandwich bowl, squirt on some brown mustard, load up the beef, 
Of course, some veg, so why not some sour crap? Now, this is a sandwich right here. Once you nail this down, you'll be able to go on to the next step, smoked pastrami. And don't worry, there'll be a recipe soon enough. This has been Chase Cutting Kitchen. I'm CRJ, making cooking fun and meaning it this time. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, smash the like button. If you really liked the video, become a subscriber and hit the bell notification icon. I upload every Friday. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, and support me on Patreon. Oh boy, that political joke I made earlier is not going to go over well in the comments section.